Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I will show you how we can make a firework effect using Unity particle system. So let's start. We will start by making a new particle system. Reset its position and rename it to fireworks. Now, in the Assets folder, click on Create Material and rename it to Fireworks underscore Mat. I will bring a texture from my computer into my Unity project and I'll drop it here. This is how it looks. Now select your material, click on shader, legacy shaders, particles, additive. Now drag and drop your texture here and drag and drop this material to your fireworks particle system. Here we can see our particle system. Now, make sure your rotation of X is at 90 degree. Set the duration to 7. Lifetime to be random between two constants and put the value of 2 and 3. Set the start speed to 70. And start size to 8. I think it is a bit too big. Turn it down to 4. After that, go to renderer and set the max particle size to 3. Set the start color to be random between two colors and select two different colors and turn the opacity down to 60. Now select another color, something like this and also turn the opacity down to 60. That's it. Put the value of 2 in gravity. Now inside emission, our value will be 1. Shape will be cone and its angle will be 14 degrees. Set the radius to 0. Click on Trails and expand it. Set the lifetime to 0.5. Check Die with Particle, make sure it's checked. And uncheck Size Effects Lifetime, it's already unchecked. After that, turn the opacity of the color down to 60. Set the width over trail to 0.4 and then from here select curve, click on this and select a curve like this. Yes, this is how it will look. After that, click on color over trail and uh, we'll choose gradient from here and we will turn the opacity down to zero from here. Now click on Submitter and create a new Submitter by clicking on this press button on Death. Now click on Inherit Color. Now click on your sub emitter and duration will be 5. We will add a start delay of 0 0.1. Lifetime will be random between two constants, a value of 1 and 3. Start speed will be 25. Size will be 2. 
and we will put the value of gravity 2. In emission, set rate over time to 0 and click on this plus sign to add burst. We will add random between two constants and we will add a value of 50 to 150. That's it. You can see the values here. Now, go to shape and select sphere from here if it's not selected. The radius will be 1. Then click on limit velocity over lifetime and from here set the speed to curve and choose a curve like this. Drag it by the handles, that's it. Then check color over lifetime. Turn the opacity down from here. Then check trails. And uncheck die with particles. And also uncheck size effects width. Then Width of a trail will be 0 0.5 and select curve. We will choose a curve like this. Then color of a trail will be a gradient. Not like this but a gradient. And we will turn the opacity down like this. Now drag and drop your material from here to this and inside the renderer click the sub emitters and also assign this material to the trail material. Now restart it and we will see how our fireworks are working. I think the size of our sub emitters is a bit too small. Let's change it to 3. And the size of our trail should also increase. Or check size effects width. It's looking better so I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos we will see you in a new video goodbye